All right, YouTube, today we've got the topic of all topics 0.177 versus 0.22. And before we go hitting each other, before we go saying this is better than that, this one we're going to do a little bit different today. We're going to be considering not the two against each other, but which ones are better suited perhaps for which tasks. Not that you can't use the one for the other, or either one that you have, or either one that you prefer. You can use whichever you want, but just why they're better suited to certain tasks. We're going to be discussing... Uh, six points availability cost accuracy power and penetration sound as well as modifications all right and then just so that we can uh, be clear all of these videos is based on sub 12 foot pounds uh, air rifles as well as we're going to be using standard pellets JSB and uh, you know, consider 0.177 8.44 grains and 0.22 15.89 grains. Let's get cracking. First topic, availability. So let's go a little bit back in history here. So 0.177 was mostly used in the UK market and 0.22 was mostly used in the US market. Here in South Africa, well, it always used to be majority 0.177. But these days, things have really evened out a lot. So definitely 0.177 and 0.22 are now readily available in majority of the gun shops here in South Africa and I'm sure across the rest of the world as well. So definitely availability, there's no difference in this current day and age. 0 0.17, 0 0.22, both readily available wherever you go. Second point we want to consider is cost. So here's where the 0.177 has a bit of advantage because definitely the 0.177 pellets are cheaper than 0.22. That's an obvious fact. You can go and check any gun shop. You'll see that they definitely are cheaper and with good reason. They use less lead. So why should you pay uh, the same price as a 0.22 if you're using less lead? So there's a savings to be had there. Um, with regards to target work, many um, of the guys that shoot targets use 0.177 the reason being well you get more pellets as well as you get to be able to try more different pellets it's going to not going to cost you an arm and a leg uh, to be able to buy a whole range of 0.177 if you compare it to buying 0.22s and then also most competition shooting is done with 0.177 so definitely on the cost side is a little bit of an advantage for 0.177 but if we compare it to let's say firearms definitely even 0.22 is cheap very cheap compared to firearms so let's get on to the next one the next one probably one of the more controversial points we're going to discuss today accuracy so is 0.177 more accurate than 0.122 absolutely not there is no gun that is more accurate than the next. If it's the same gun, if it's a different pellet, they are just as accurate as each other. However, the shooter using a .22 needs to have a little bit more skill than the shooter using .177. Why do I say this? Well, look at this graph that I'm going to show you now on the screen. All right, so. Let's consider this graph. If we look at the green line that represents the 0.22, if we look at the red line that represents the 0.177. So because the 177 is faster than the 0.22 at the same power level, that means that there's a bigger drop on the 0.22 at the same power level as the 0.177. That's why we refer to it as the arc of the 0.22. So if we look at a shot for example at 20 meters which is in the middle of that range there we can see that the point of impact on the 0.22 is going to be almost 8 centimeters different to that of the 
standard point of impact whereas the 0.177 is just going to be slightly more than four centimeters on your point of impact so obviously you can adjust your scope to be able to eliminate some of this so that it falls within your shooting range so that you have your smallest amount or smallest change in point of impact um, in your range that you are shooting but this is something that will need to be considered when looking at accuracy on a 0.22 the way that you get over this is once you've determined your point of impact drop at your different ranges then you can easily hold over or hold under depending on what range you are shooting at so this would also be necessary in 0.177 but not as much in a 0.22 so what can we say for accuracy well if you know your gun very well and you can uh, use hold over hold under definitely you can be just as accurate with the 0.22 as the 0.177 if you're shooting longer distances it's definitely going to be easier to shoot with the 0.177 so if you're a beginner shooter perhaps you would want to stick to the 177s next up we've got power and penetration so this is quite an interesting one because even though we have a lot of our speed freaks and they love to have their guns shooting at over a thousand feet per second does this really mean that you've got more power well not necessarily if we look at 0.177 versus 0.22 the 0.22 is a much heavier pellet sometimes even or most times about double the weight so that means you need to have so much more speed to have the same power output so definitely we can see that when it comes to power it's starting to lend its its way across to the 0.22 remember though you have to be accurate first you can have as much power as you want if you don't have accuracy the power is not going to help you at all however the other point that i need to bring up here is with regards to penetration so because you're going to have more speed that means you're going to have a lot more penetration so basically because a 177 has got a much smaller head than a 0.22 your penetration coupled with that speed is going to be much more with the 0.177 but is that always beneficial well i don't know how many of you watch edgar and Lashy show but if you look he likes to shoot heavy pellets a lot slower what's the reason for this well the reason is you get that initial penetration but all the energy of that pellet is dumped in the target so definitely in a hunting sense if you get all that energy dumped probably you're going to have a much more humane kill and at the same time you're not going to have pass through which in an urban environment can definitely be a, a big problem so 0.22 does not have the same penetration as a 0.177 but that is actually a good thing because you can have far more energy dump from a 0.22 than a 0.177 the other thing we need to consider when it comes to uh, power is the amount of time that the pellet retains that energy that was put on it so in a 0.22 I'm going to show you now let me show you on this graph if you look at this graph now definitely you're going to see that the 0.22 retains its energy for a much much longer time and at that point up to 40 meters you can see even that uh, the 0.22 has got 10% more energy than the 0.177 but if you're going to be shooting at uh, 20 meters is it going to make a difference no not really then you can use either or because your power that's going to be kept at 20 meters is more or less the same the next one is actually a very very interesting one and one that 
did not make sense to me until recently. And that is sound. Many of us are shooting in our backyards. So which one is quieter? 0.177 or 0.22? Well, think about this for a moment. If you're using a 0.177 and it goes supersonic, definitely it will be louder than a 0.22. However, think now about that pellet weight. 0.22 is heavier than 0.177. Yes, you do get heavier pellets in 0.177, but in general 0.22 will be heavier than 0.177. Does that make it quieter? Well, yes it does. Think about something that is in a, in a, in a position that you need to lift it up. Let's say you've got a rock here and a brick here, and this brick is bigger than the rock. What does that mean? Well, that means you need to use more energy to lift up the brick than to lift up the rock. Well, in the same sense, when you've got a heavier pellet, you are using more air to be able to move that pellet. Even though the pellet is coming out slower, what's happening is you are using more air. So, if you remember in my video around silences or moderators, suppressors, whatever you want to call it, if you think about it, those silences, what they are actually trying to do is to get rid of that excess air. But on a 0.177, you can have a lot more air to get rid of using that silencer. So 0.22 uses more of the air to be able to propel that pellet. And definitely this will have an impact on the sound. So 0.22 should in actual fact be quieter than a 0.177. However, is this really a, a big consideration? No, with today's quality of silences, it can, it can definitely be overcome just by a silencer. However, most guns you will not want to shoot these in your backyard without some form of a silencer. All right, so that covers sound. The last topic that I'd like to cover in today's video is modifications. So many of us, we like to tinker a little bit with our air rifles, we like to modify them. And usually what we are trying to modify is speed. So we are trying to get more speed out of our air rifles. Well, definitely for me. However, that speed also relates to power. So which one is better to modify? A 0.177 or a 0.22? Well, here's where the maths starts to get quite interesting. So, let me take you through some of these calculations. I want to show you that actually, if you want to modify something to get more power, then a 0.22 is actually going to be better than a 0.177. Why do I say that? Well, I'm going to put the calculator up on the screen. Let me talk you through these calculations. Okay, so here you can see the normal air gun calculator. And uh, the things that we need is going to be FPS, the grains of the pellet, and it's going to give us our foot pounds. But now, just to try and make this as fair as possible, let's take a standard Artemis CP2. So a standard Artemis CP2 in 0.177 with the long barrel, the rifle, is running at 600 feet per second and that's with the 8.44 grain pellet. So if we calculate that, it gives us around about 6.7 FPE. So let's say we want to turn this Artemis CP2 into a 11.5 foot pounds air rifle obviously we're going to have to increase our feet per second so why i'm saying 11.5 because that's under the, the legal limit for some countries so let's change the 600 and we're going to make that 784 and if we've still got the same grain pellet then we should come out on about 11.5 foot-pounds. So we can see 
that were to increase that feet per second from 600 to 784 in order to give us 11.5 foot pounds of energy. So if we go and just take a standard calculator and we now see what was the percentage increase we needed. So we go 600 plus 31 percent and there you'll see it comes out to 786. So there you can see, so we needed to basically increase that feet per second by 31 percent in order to get to that 11.5 FPE. But now let's see if the same is true for the standard 0.22. So the standard 0.22 in the pellet that we're considering today is the 15.89 grains and the standard 0.22 for the Artemis CP2 comes out running at 500 FPS. So if we calculate that, it gives us 8.819. And remember now we want to go from 8.819 to 11.5 foot-pounds. So basically we want to end up with the same foot-pounds for both of these rifles. So what we'll have to do, we're going to have to increase our speed to 571 and if we now calculate we come out on 11.5 foot pounds but now if we go back and do the same calculation for the 0.22 as what we've done for the 0.177 so we're going to say 500 plus 15 percent and we come out to a little bit more than 571 so we come out to 575 so that means we only needed to increase the feet per second of a 0.22 by 15 percent which is half of the 0.177 in order to get to the same foot pounds and that's purely due to as it comes out standard it's already got more foot pounds because of that heavier projectile. It's using the same amount of air, but it's going to have a higher foot bounce. So, hope this makes sense. Um, let's, uh, let's see if we can summarize then what we've discussed today. So, shall we summarize then? Well, at the time of making this video, I actually put a poll out. And that poll was, what is your favorite pellet 0.177 or 0.22 interestingly enough 72 percent of of you followers said that you prefer the 177 and 28 percent said that you prefer the 0.22 but is the 0.177 better than the 0.22 or is the 0.22 better than the 177 well i don't think we'll ever be able to say that this one is better than that one. Why? Because each one might be better suited to a certain situation, but the other one can also be used for that same situation. It all depends on the situation and how you use it, how you apply it to that situation. But the thing that I want us to take out of this is, as a friend of mine once said, he said, use what you have. If you've got 0.177, use it, enjoy it. If you've got 0.22, use it, enjoy it. The whole point of this is to show that whichever we've got, 0.17, 0.22, get out there, get shooting, enjoy this wonderful hobby that we have, and make the most of the time that you get to spend using that hobby. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it brought some insight. Uh, to you is so that when you need to decide if you're going to take 0 0.177, 0 0.22, which one is going to suit your needs better. And uh, I hope that uh, I'll see you on the shooting range someday. And uh, get out there, get shooting. Happy shooting, everyone. See you next time.